I'm out here in Myra Bellevue Provincial Park, where a woman and her 11-year-old daughter have been camping for the past seven days after they were forced to leave their previous residence. They've had no luck finding a new rental in their price range in Kelowna. I've always been able to find a place to even look at, and now it's so hard to even find a place to view. <laughs> they're either not acceptable, or they're out of my price range, or they don't like kids. <laughs> the woman has lived in Kelowna for the past several years, but has found it increasingly difficult to find affordable rentals over the past two years. As of July 1st, her and her daughter were homeless. Well, the owners had moved in upstairs and needed the downstairs for storage, so they gave me notice. Well, I'm hoping to find a place for August, and I just need one bedroom, but it's so hard to find in my price range. <laughs> what is your price range looking like right now? Uh, it's 850 to 1000 with utilities included. The woman receives disability pay to support herself and her daughter, but the lack of affordable rentals in Kelowna has forced her to camp for the foreseeable future. It's really not that bad because we enjoy camping, but it sucks because we have to. Like, we should be able to go home to our house and our cat and, you know, enjoy a roof over our heads instead of just tents. I pay my rent on time, I keep the place tidy, it's immaculate when I leave. There's nothing wrong with my form of tendency. I have different colored hair and tattoos, so it makes it a lot harder to make a good first impression to some. I'm socially awkward too, so that doesn't help either. <laughs> but just give everybody a chance. Kids have to have a house. I'd like to house mine. For Castanet News, I'm Nick Johansson. Thank <laughs> you.